My parents had very demanding jobs. My mother and father ran a law firm, and we had to travel a lot. I had to get used to pretty much being alone. It seemed like I could never get used to having friends. I knew I'd be up and moving shortly anyway. I was also an only child. Therefore, life was pretty much a sad thing for me. However, I will never forget a strange encounter I had when my parents and I moved into a trailer on the countryside of Mississippi. It was pretty much desolate other than a few other houses and trailers. The trailer was the best my parents could find. We moved in the trailer next to an old man. He looked as though he was in his late 80s. He also seemed to live alone. I never saw anyone but him outside. I don't think he had a wife, kids, or even grandchildren. However, he did have a dog. It was quite a strange dog, though. It appeared to be a black German Shepherd. He had one of the most unique, beautiful black coats of fur I'd ever seen on any animal. His fur could be compared to that of the night sky. He was also quite large. He definitely had some Great Dane in his bloodline. When you see this dog's black coat and large size, he looks absolutely intimidating. It was simply astounding. I'd honestly never seen a dog quite like this. I went over to introduce myself to the neighbor. Though he looked grumpy, the man was actually really nice. He introduced himself as Mr. Frank Gosseld, but he told me I could just call him Frank. I then asked what was the name of his dog. His name was Grim. Grim simply glanced at me, but paid me no attention. As time passed, Frank and I had become friends. He said it was nice to finally have some company. I would regularly help Frank with his chores around the house. Afterwards, he would give me a little pay for my help. With my father always working, Frank pretty much became my father figure. It made me feel special. There was something quite strange though every time I visited. Grimm would be gone most of the time. Frank explained that Grimm loved to explore the woods, but my gut told me that wasn't the case. Occasionally, I would come across Grimm his behavior was quite weird. Sometimes, he would just sit completely still, staring out into the woods. He looked utterly focused. I would try to play with Grimm, but he was never playful. Whenever I tried to get him to play, he'd just look at me with a blank stare and continue to look out into the woods. His tail wouldn't even wag in the slightest. He didn't seem like a happy dog. That was until about a month into staying in the trailer. Apparently, a man died late in the night. Police said he was drunk and drove his car into a tree. That day, I saw Grimm's tail wag. He actually looked happy. I ran over to see if he would happily greet me, but after he noticed me, his tail stopped wagging and he gave me a low growl. It was like I was disturbing his happiness. After that, I was kind of determined to find out what was Grimm's deal. The weirdest thing about him was his behavior. Every time someone in the neighborhood died, he would either be gone or be happy. It was almost like he knew when people died. This began to bother me. It actually began to disturb me. I began to have nightmares about Grimm. I had dreams of him at the drunk man's accident. There was an old lady who lived about three miles away from us. She'd suffered from a heart attack in her sleep. I had a nightmare that Grimm had something to do with it. One of my final nightmares was of Grimm popping out of nowhere and biting my throat. Time passed and my parents and I were getting ready to move again. I went over to say goodbye to Frank. He was sad that I was leaving. I was pretty torn up about it too. However, I couldn't leave without knowing more about Grimm. I asked Frank where he'd gotten him. His face went pale for a moment, and after a brief moment of hesitation, he answered. 
I didn't find him. He found me. My wife died a few years ago. After that, he just showed up. I found that quite weird. Grimm just appeared after Frank's wife died. Then Frank said something that I'll never forget. I once thought Grimm was a normal dog. I thought he was just some stray that found his way to my door. Then I realized that wasn't quite the case. You see, my boy, Grimm isn't just a normal dog. As a matter of fact, he isn't a dog at all. I couldn't think of anything to say. I was baffled. I did manage to ask one final question. Then, what is he? Frank looked at me with a face of caution. I... I think... I think he's death. I used to be curious where Grimm would run off to, just like you. I once followed him and discovered he was arriving at the scenes of upcoming death. He would never be happy until someone died or was about to die. I even believe he can be at several places at once. But uh, it's best you leave now. We don't want to upset him. Please leave. With that being said, I left Frank's house and never saw him again. My parents had finished packing up and we were on our way to the airport. I'll never forget what I saw as we drove away. I looked out the back car window and saw Grimm. He was staring directly at me, but this time he was wagging his tail. He was happy to see me leave. At the airport, we began to board our plane. I could have sworn I spotted Grimm at the airport for a second, but when I took a second look, there was nothing there. I'm sure you can imagine what happened to that plane. I was the only survivor. I lost both my parents that day, and I finally realized what Grimm was. This may seem far-fetched, but maybe Grimm is deaf. I guess that's why his name is Grimm. I've never been a spiritual person. I do believe in death, though. Eventually, it's coming for all of us. However, I can confidently say I cheated death, and death is a dog. Death is a dog named Grimm.